Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Join me today for the Fitchburg Recreation Department. We got CC. CC. I like the background here, CC. Where are you at? I am in the senior center in the Syene room. This room is rentable for meetings. <laughs> and for uh, great interviews as well. So that That's works great. out really good. Yep. Um, uh, CC, uh, uh, welcome back and uh, thanks for taking the time. Uh, we got a lot to get to today and we're going to start right in with uh, summer jobs. Uh, still got some openings if you want to join uh, the team uh, recreation department and help out uh, with our youth this summer. That's right. We've still got openings for program assistants. Those are the people that are working with our program coordinators to run our youth summer programming. Um, summer camps, some sports programs. Basically, you're going to be playing sports, playing games, doing crafts, activities, and having fun with the kids all summer. Uh, doesn't sound like anything better than that could uh, exist. So uh, get yourself signed up uh, for sure. And speaking of summer activities, uh, all the summer programming is out there for you to sign up. Yes, summer programs are open for registration. Um, pretty much everything is out there. There might be a few stragglers that get added late, but almost everything is open and ready for kids to sign up. So make sure you get on that. And also that you have the recreation scholarship fund available to uh, folks who need financial assistance. Tell us about that. Yes, so our scholarship fund is for um, anyone who lives in the city of Fitchburg or in the Verona area school district. This is for any age. Um, we've got resources if you need financial assistance to be able to participate in one of our programs. So please visit our website. We've got a page up there that has directions on how to apply. And also the wait list. Uh, yeah, there may be a wait list. Things fill up fast. But uh, as you have mentioned in past interviews, that's okay. You should get on the wait list because your time might come up. Yes, we might have someone drop out. We might end up having enough staff to be able to add people from the wait list or enough interest to start a new team. So definitely, if a, even if a program is full, put yourself on the wait list. That way we know there's interest. Fantastic. Let's turn to uh, some of the sports that uh, you got coming up here. Uh, and uh, it is, uh, it is the season for baseball. It's back. Uh, tell us what we got going on. That's right. Baseball is coming up fast. We have got t-ball, coach pitch, machine pitch, and we also have softball for girls. Um, obviously, girls and boys can sign up for any of the programs. Um, softball, generally speaking, is just for girls, but any gender can sign up for any of these programs. Um, and that is going to be starting here pretty quick, end of May, beginning of June. So if you are interested in playing one of those sports, then you need to get signed up ASAP. Sounds good. I, I always love playing baseball in the rec program. It was a lot of fun. So definitely want to get yourself signed up for that. How about tween summer re or I almost said reading program running club, the teen, I can't even say it tween summer running club. That's just a tough one to say. Yeah. You know, I leave the reading to the library people. They, they know that one best, <laughs> but you know what I know about it's running. So we are starting a new program that tween summer running club. Um, brand new this year. It's aimed at middle schoolers. Basically, we're going to work on individual fitness. We're going to do it through uh, drills, games, uh, workouts. Um, we're going to have fun. And then at the end, we're going to culminate in a race at McGaw Park on the trails. So we'll see where we've, uh, you know, where we started and where we, where we're going. <laughs> where we're going. <laughs> love it. Love it. Uh, all right. Uh, transitioning from running uh, to a racket sport, uh, tennis lessons, uh, all are welcome. Yes, yes, we have got tennis lessons for as young as four years up to 16 years old. So we have got a lesson for any age um, of youth. So uh, those are two sessions, one in uh, June and July, and then a second session from July into August. Um, you know, something that is taught by skilled high school players. Um, who are on their high school's tennis team that are going to share their skills with the uh, younger kids. I, another sport that I played from the recreation department and you get your fundamentals. And I mean, I played, uh, I never played competitively or anything, but we played after school uh, with big groups all the time and had a blast. So uh, certainly another fun one to get into. You also have team tennis. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a twist. So at the beginning of the season, um, it's going to be just practices over at McKee on Wednesdays and Fridays. But then when we get a little bit further into the season, this is for the full summer, we start traveling to other communities. So um, I believe like Verona, Wanakee, so in the Madison area still. So not going too far, but um, yeah, a chance to get out there and play some other kids from different communities. 
Ooh, I like it. All right. Uh, this is really turning the page here. Uh, fencing camp. That's right. Yes, fencing camp is back. This was wildly popular last summer, totally filled <laughs> up for both age groups. So um, if your child wants to try something new and different, who doesn't want to pretend that they're in parts of the Caribbean playing with swords? All safe, of course, we have proper safety equipment. So, um, and uh, certified instructors as well for these programs. So a lot of fun. I, I heard certified safety. <laughs> it's certified all, safety it's all good. Certified safety buckling, the three S's, Jeremy. That, that make recreation run. I like it. That's right. Uh, all right. Yeah, get signed up for that one. You might want to uh, definitely uh, get get on right away if you say it, it filled up as fast as it did. So glad to have it back then too. Uh, dance, uh, a staple of the Fitchburg Recreation Department. You still got a variety of dance uh, programs offered up. That's right. We are offering ballet, jazz, and lyrical this summer. Um, and ballet includes pre-ballet for the younger kids. Um, so that's going to be for ages anywhere from three all the way to 12. Um, so, you know, if you want to escape the heat, come hang out in our air-conditioned community center to take some fun dance classes. Oh boy, don't set us up for that. What if it breaks or something? Then we're going to be in trouble uh, saying it's air conditioned there. JCC, what are you doing? No, I was kidding. It's going to be great. going to be great. Um, how about uh, programs uh, and partnerships uh, with? You got some good partners this year. We do. So um, our fencing program is also in partner with this um, company. It's YEL Youth Enrichment League. And they bring a ton of fun STEM or just kind of unusual programs that um, we wouldn't be able to offer otherwise. So we've got um, Varsity Builders Camp that's working with Legos and like building um, building robots type thing. Chess Camp. Uh, we've got a rocketry camp. We've got um, coding and we've got Project Runway even. So if your child's interested in learning how to use a sewing machine and making some projects, that could be for you. But you know, everything is uh, super fun. You know something different, something different for the kids. It's interesting stuff. Something different, something fun. That's what it's uh, all about at the, uh, uh, I almost said senior center. At, you're at the senior center at the uh, recreation <laughs> department. Uh, finally, uh, for we've talked about kids. Let's get one adult program in here. Yoga for all levels uh, still available. Yes. Yep. So we have got yoga for all levels that is going to be uh, two sessions going on in June. One of them is the standard session at the community center, you know, after work, five to six, 530 to 630, sorry. Um, but we're also adding another session in the park at Tower Hill Park. That's going to be from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Um, and that's, again, going to be in the month of June on Tuesday or Thursdays. Sorry, Tuesdays is the indoor session on Thursday. So uh, check out our yoga offerings if you want something indoor or even something outdoor. Phew. Okay, that was a lot of programs that we just went over in a very uh, short amount of time. Uh, for folks who are like, what, wait, where do we go to sign up for all these amazing uh, opportunities? Uh, how can we learn and find out more, CC? Yes, to view all of our programs, you can go to fitchburgwi.gov backslash recreation and then click the big button that says view programs and register here. Fantastic. Cece, thank you so much. Great planning uh, in that department and some uh, awesome programs. Uh, so excited to get the summer off and running awesome. Yes, we are excited and we are very much looking forward to seeing everyone again. Yeah, I, absolutely. It's, uh, it's time. All right. Thank you so much, Cece. We appreciate it. Yep. Thank you, Jeremy. You bet. Again, head out to our website, pitchforwi.gov. Click on recreation and get yourself or your kiddos signed up for some fun summer activities uh, or I mean, robots, that's all I'm saying. All right, we'll take a quick break. More to come. You're watching Talking Pittsburgh.